Sayan O'Casey's Juno and the Paycock is a masterpiece of Irish theatre. It premiered in 1924. The play is set in a tenement building in Dublin. The year is 1922. The Irish Civil War casts a long shadow over the lives of the characters. This production, staged at London's Gielgud Theatre, breathes fresh life into O'Casey's tragicomedy. It's a story that resonates just as strongly today as it did a century ago. Mark Rylance, a true titan of the stage, takes on the role of Captain Jack Boyle. Jack is a man who avoids work with the same passion he devotes to embellishing his meagre existence. Rylance embodies the character fully. He shuffles, he preens, he spins yarns of past glories. It's a Chaplin-esque performance, full of physical comedy. But beneath the bluster, Rylance reveals the tragedy of a man lost in his own delusions. Rylance masterfully portrays Boyle's descent into drunken despair. He stumbles, slurs and gesticulates wildly. His physicality is as expressive as his words, drawing laughter and pity in equal measure. Opposite Rylance, J. Smith Cameron delivers a powerful performance as Juno Boyle. Juno, the family matriarch, is the embodiment of resilience. She holds the family together. Smith Cameron brings a quiet strength to the role. Her Juno is world-weary, but not defeated. She loves her family, even as she despairs over their flaws. Smith Cameron's portrayal is deeply moving. Her Juno is the heart and soul of the play. She anchors the humor and the heartbreak with her grounded presence. Her performance is both subtle and powerful, capturing the essence of a woman struggling to keep her family afloat. The supporting cast is equally impressive, bringing depth and nuance to the production. Ashlyn Kearns is captivating as Mary, the Boyle's daughter, caught between dreams of a better life and the harsh realities of her circumstances. Her portrayal is both poignant and powerful, making the audience feel every ounce of her struggle and hope. Paul Hilton brings a chilling intensity to the role of Jerry Devine, a former suitor of Mary's with a dark secret. His performance is haunting, leaving a lasting impression long after the scene ends. Each actor embodies their characters fully, creating a rich tapestry of Dublin life. The ensemble works seamlessly together, each performance enhancing the other. The chemistry between the actors is palpable, making their interactions feel real and deeply moving. Their connections on stage are electric, drawing the audience into their world. They inhabit their roles with such authenticity that you forget you're watching a play. The dedication and commitment to their characters are evident in every gesture and line delivered. The laughter feels genuine, the tears heartfelt. The emotional range displayed by the cast is truly remarkable, making the highs and lows of the story resonate deeply with the audience. It's a testament to the talent on stage and the direction of Matthew Walshus. His vision and guidance have brought out the best in each performer, creating a cohesive and compelling production that soars. Walkus's balancing act, Laughter and Tears. Director Matthew Walkus expertly navigates the play's shifts in tone. He allows the humour to breathe without undermining the tragedy that lies beneath. The result is a production that is both entertaining and thought-provoking. Walkus understands the power of O'Casey's writing. He trusts his actors to deliver the emotional truth of the story. Walkus's direction is masterful in its subtlety, 
He uses blocking and pacing to create a sense of intimacy and urgency. The transitions between comedy and tragedy are seamless, drawing the audience deeper into the lives of these unforgettable characters. Howells set a character in itself. Rob Howell's set design is both realistic and evocative. The Boyle's cramped tenement flat, with its peeling wallpaper and threadbare furniture, becomes a microcosm of a city struggling to rebuild itself after years of conflict. The set is not merely a backdrop, but an integral part of the storytelling. Every detail, from the chipped teacups to the flickering gaslight, speaks volumes about the poverty and resilience of the characters. The set design, combined with the lighting and sound, creates a visceral experience that transports the audience to the heart of 1920s Dublin. From Jigs to Despair The play's dramatic turn. The audience is immediately drawn into a world of stark contrasts and shifting emotions. Juno and the Paycock is a play of contrasts, a masterful blend of comedy and tragedy that keeps the audience on the edge of their seats. It opens with boisterous humour, setting a lively and engaging tone. Jack Boyle and his sidekick, Joxa Daly, played with hilarious desperation by John Hodgkinson, engage in drunken escapades. Their antics are a source of endless amusement. They dodge creditors and spin tall tales, creating a whirlwind of laughter and chaos. But as the play unfolds, a sense of dread creeps in. The once light-hearted atmosphere begins to shift. The laughter becomes strained, the silences pregnant with unspoken anxieties. The audience can feel the tension building. The play's dramatic turning point comes with the arrival of a solicitor. His presence signals a change in the narrative. He brings news that will change the Boyle family's fortunes, but not for the better. The revelation is a pivotal moment. From this moment onwards, the play takes on a darker hue. The mood shifts dramatically. The humour recedes replaced by a sense of impending doom. The audience is left to grapple with the weight of the unfolding tragedy as the characters face their grim realities. A timeless tale of hope and despair. Juno and the Paycock is a play about survival, set against the backdrop of a turbulent time in Irish history. It's about the ways in which people cope with poverty, loss and betrayal, and how these experiences shape their lives. It's a story that is both specific to its time and place, and universal in its themes, resonating with audiences across generations. O'Casey's characters are flawed, funny and ultimately deeply human. They navigate their hardships with a mix of humour and despair. We recognise ourselves in their struggles, their dreams and their disappointments. Their stories reflect our own fears and hopes. The play does not offer easy answers. It challenges us to confront the complexities of life. It does not shy away from the harsh realities of life in poverty-stricken Dublin, portraying them with unflinching honesty. Yet, amidst the despair, there are glimmers of hope. Moments of kindness and resilience shine through the darkness. Juno's strength and resilience shine through. She embodies the enduring spirit of those who refuse to be broken. She reminds us that even in the darkest of times, the human spirit can endure. Her journey is a testament to the power of hope and perseverance. Juno and the Paycock remains a powerful and relevant piece of theatre, reminding us of the enduring power of the human spirit. Final thoughts. A must-see masterpiece. 
This production of Juno and the Paycock is a triumph. It's a must-see for anyone who appreciates great acting, powerful storytelling, and thought-provoking theatre. The play stays with you long after